Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Blue, and this is Metal Lens Reviews. Hope you're all doing well. So if this is your first time here, you're checking out my channel, you like what you see, thank you. Uh, please do me a favor of like, comment, subscribe. As I mentioned before, really helps me grow the channel, spread it to the masses, and of course motivates me to provide you guys with more content to watch. Alright, so this is kind of cool. Uh, this was a recent discovery, only because they're playing in my neck of the woods, the Rock Orchestra. And as far as I know, they're pretty much a group of talented artists that are all congregated in an orchestra. They do covers of rock and metal songs. Totally up my alley. In fact, right away, Apocalyptica uh, came to mind. Apocalyptica is a, like a cello uh, group with a drummer that do covers of metal. Well, they used to do just Metallica songs, then they like did their own stuff. Really cool to look at, really cool to listen to. Um, this... Uh, Actually, I don't know what to expect. I've seen a clip here and there. They're promoting their tour. Like I said, they're stopping around my neck of the woods, which is cool. Um, I might check them out. I don't know. But it's cool. Like they're, The list of songs that they're covering are you know, songs I'm really familiar with. Now, this one, I mean, it's. I think a lot of people might know this. This was from the Cranberries Zombie. Uh, the last time, actually, I listened to this was on this channel from Bambi Thug. Um which was like this uh, Irish group who um, I just happened to uh, come across through, uh, what was it, Eurovision. And um, they did a really good job covering it. It's, you know, it's very, like, once you hear Zombie, you'll know exactly you know, what it is if you're not familiar with it. If you know the Cranberries, you know the Zombie. Now this, the Rock Orchestra, I'm really curious because this is legit, like, first listen here. I have no idea. I mean, it's an orchestra. They're probably rock-oriented, but I don't know how that translates to this, you know. So, uh, yeah, this should be a very interesting listen to. Um, all right, well, let me stop yapping. I'm going to cue this video up, and we're going to check this out together. All right, guys, this is the Rock Orchestra with their cover from the Cranberries, Zombie. I sound like a radio announcer now. <laughs> Okay, so uh, way better than I expected, tell you that. Um, yeah, I'm actually interested in checking them out live. I mean, you know, I, sh I should, I don't know. I have a really crazy work schedule. It's really hard to work around life events. Uh, I don't plan way in advance. This was just very random. They popped up, and what were they uh, debuting? Um, well, not, I guess, they, like I said, they were advertising their tour. The Rock Orchestra, and it was System of a Down's, was it Chop Suey? Toxicity? One, one of the 
popular System of a Down songs, and it sounded really, really good. And this is awesome. Um, like I said, there wasn't that much information. I mean, I didn't deep dive like that. I, I tried to do like a quick search, so I had some kind of context to talk about. But uh, any fans of the rock orchestra, fill me in. Where they come from? Is it just like a group of different artists from all over the world? Uh, I'm interested. I mean, yeah, this is really right up my alley. I, I really enjoy this. I love when you could take something that's already been established and done and make it even grandioso and just better. And, um, and like I said, this song, I mean, yeah, it's a rock song, but it's very, you know, it's got a history behind it. It's got a story. It's sad in some matters it's um i don't want to get into the politics behind the song but um um for those who know you know but it's a th i mean you know it could be a tearjerker of a song um anyone who's covered it for any context it just you know envelops emotion in you and i mean this is just it's that so it's all what i said uh, on a grander scale because of the orchestra really fills it out so you know you have these layers already on a very beautiful melodramatic kind of song but now you got more theatrics, more dramaticness put into it. And it makes it feel even more well-rounded than it already was. Um, and I think in I mean, have, see, hearing an orchestra do a cover of one of your, you know, like a popular song um, is one thing. But to have, you know, a singer accompany it with a drummer, a percussion, and all that stuff, it just really makes it uh, come alive. And um, I mean, we're only like a minute, two minutes in, but uh, so far so good. Really, really, really good stuff here. Wow, man! I was not expecting this. this. Is really, oh man! I got. I feel like I, after this, I gotta listen to a couple more covers because I'm really digging this. I just, I, you know, I don't know who's who. This is a true first time listen. Uh, this is awesome. Like, I, I'm very aware of this song. I'm sure many people are, but I mean, to hear it on this kind of level, um, it's kind of like when I hear Pentatonix do a cappella for an already established song that people are aware of. And they just make it bigger. And in this case, you know, the rock orchestra really takes such a, you know, mellow, dramatic kind of song and just, like I said, you know, build it up to even more of an uh, epic scale than it already is. Um, yeah, you know, you can hear everything clear, too. I mean, the, the drummer's doing his thing. The singer, she's fantastic. She really hits those notes. Very reminiscent of the original, you know, just, you know, it's there. She captures that essence with her voice. The orchestra just does a great job just adding layers. Um, the core of the song, because it was a, it was a regular piece band, uh, the Cranberries. Um, but they hear added layers. It's kind of like when you do a remix of a song, maybe you make it more synth-driven, folkish, whatever. You know, this, just, you know, anything with an orchestra 
really brings out a song, I think. Um, some people might not agree, but I definitely think orchestras are... I mean, they just, they carry a punch, you know, it's, orchestras to me are like, you know, the metal in classical music, you know, if it wasn't for orchestras, we wouldn't have, you know, movie soundtracks, you know, pretty much. They're there to, you know, excite an audience and put you in the perspective of the music, you know, not just listen to it, but feel it and to um, get some of a motion reaction, like, you know you know, what's going to happen next, you know, it's just, and, uh, you know, for them to do that with such a mellow song, uh, yeah, kudos to them, really, really cool, really considered seeing them, actually. Bravo, man. That was fun. Ah, oh, same chop suit. I knew it. Um, but yeah, this was cool. Such an awesome rendition of Zombie from the Cranberries. Um, yeah, the rock orchestra. It, it, I don't know. Something drew me to it. You know, when obviously when they're on tour, you know, doing their thing, advertising, and they're coming around my way. So, like I said, I happened to see them in a pop up or an ad. But I mean, wow. This was fun. That was a cool cover. Uh, really well done, man. Um, yeah, any fans of the Rock Orchestra, let me know what's up with them. You know, who they are, where they came from, how classically trained, you know, I'm all about it. Definitely up my alley. I mean, the fact that they even took the time to, you know, it, 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 like they extended the song a little bit. I don't know, it was really, really, really well done. Chef Kiss, you know. Um, and other songs, obviously, uh, they do, they're not afraid to do heavier songs. Um, super talented. Really, really cool. Um, let me know what else, you know, if you guys who are fans of the Rock Orchestra, you want me to do maybe another reaction to them. I'm all about it. Um, they're definitely going to be floating around in my head for some time. So, uh, yeah, please. Alright guys, well look, if you made this far in the video, thanks for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you uh, feel like contributing to my channel in any way, uh, any bit helps, uh, I'll leave you a link. Uh, buy me a coffee, pretty much. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, like I said, um, thanks again. And as always, my friends, I will see you all very, very soon. Peace.